2015 on a 65 plate Jaguar XE. This is the executive model, so it's the two litre diesel um, with a really high spec. It's got the 20 inch wheels, the blacked out chrome trim um, and a load of interior stuff, which I'll show you as we go around. We'll start by having a look at the bodywork. It's not a huge amount to see on a, on a seven or eight year old car versus our usual 45 year old things, but we'll point out everything we can see. If we look down this driver's side, you can see it's nice and straight all the way down there. It's not full of filler or ripples or dents. No sign of any stone chips or marks on that front wing. Nothing at all to whinge about there. Like I say, it's got the larger, um, I believe a 20 inch, just double check. Find some numbers on this. Yeah, 20 inch wheels in gloss black. Really look the part of the car, I think. Coming down this side, all nice and tidy. Clean along the sill there. We've got a little bit of ingrained dirt there, we'll ignore that. No sign of any stone chips coming up the A-pillar there, or on the wing mirror. No marks to note on the driver's front or rear doors there. Normally you get some stone chips down here where it starts to kick out. We've got one tiny one on the door there and another tiny one that hasn't even broken the paint there. Um, but it is worth pointing it out. Like I say, it's got the gloss black trim instead of the chrome trim. Tinted windows on the back. Roof itself, lovely and straight. There's no ripples or dents or hail damage or anything like that on that. If we go along the leading edge, along there, there's no sign of any stone chips along there either. Continuing down this side, another good wheel and tyre. Gloss black, 20 inch, like we said. Inside the arches are clean all the way around. Rear quarters all nice and tidy. Again, colour matches all the way around. It's not been painted badly or anything like that. It's all one colour white. Doesn't look like it's had any paint weight that I can tell, but I might be wrong. Coming around on the back, tail lights are nice and clean and clear. Sort of the, the later um, LED style ones as well, which are really nice, as you can see. Got black barges, black barges to go with the uh, trim. I did notice that the J is missing off those, but you can buy those online quite easily. Parking sensors on the rear, I think they're on the front as well. We'll double check. Light little scuff just there where things have been lifted in and out of the boot, but they do look like they were polished out, to be fair. Boot lid itself on the top, that's all nice and straight. Like I say, it does make for a very boring video on a new car, but nice, clean, tidy car. Looking down this side again, nice and straight all the way down there. This arch clean all the way around, another good wheel and tyre. Not really any stone chips on this side to know. All good on both doors there as well. Nice and clean along there. No stone chips on the wing mirror. Or on the A pillar, that's all good. And then the leading edge of this windscreen again, all good. I would say it wants a very good detail. We've cleaned it, but it wants a proper detail just to polish it up and give it a good shine. Another good wheel and tyre on the front there. Round up the front, headlights are lovely and clear. They're really nice headlights on these XEs. They sort of disappear under the bonnet, the same as the boot does. Jaguar logo in the sides. All nice and clean and tidy on there. So body weight wise, generally very good. Onto the interior, spec wise we've got Meridian sound system. Uh, what else have we got? Auto wipers, auto lights. It's got the lane departure system. It's got the uh, Sport and Eco start stop. Obviously, add blue and all that sort of stuff on these things. Aircon, the larger sat nav unit. This one's on 96,000 miles. If you check the description, we'll detail everything we know as far as service history goes. Driver's seat, generally very, very good. Tiny little nick there where it's been caught by the seatbelt. But other than that, lovely and tidy. No real wear on the steering wheel or on the gear stick area. And again, normally on this piano black trim, it can get scuffed up and be horrible. This one's really nice and tidy. And again, JLR products, start, stop buttons like to wear, but this one's all good. No real wear or any signs of any marks on the door card. Into the back on this side, again, nice and tidy on the door card. Door shuts are all good. Rear seats are lovely and clean. Backs of the front seats are good. These aren't stretched out or anything like that. Headlining's nice and tidy. There's no funny smells in there. It's not been smoked and had dogs in or anything like that. Nothing worse these days than the car's been smoked in. Your ab blues in the corner here. In the boot, again, not a lot to see with it being a new car, but all good in there. And then under here, you've got your massive battery, actually, um, and flat tyre kit, wrong fuel saver, all that sort of stuff. Normally the bits of the sign of a, a car that's not been looked after when all that's gone missing, but they're all there. Rear passenger side, nice and tidy again. 
nothing really to whinge about in there. And then front passenger, nice and tidy on the door card again. Got the electric seats as well, these. All the bolts on this side are all very good. Really nice looking seat though, it's actually particularly comfy as well. We'll uh, just have a little fumble around under here and get the bonnet open while we're there. And then under the bonnet again, new car, not a whole lot to see. Two litre diesel engine with a manual gearbox. Nice and clean under there, it's been parked here a little while. So we'll drop any fluid on the floor or anything like that. We'll get it fired up, it's, uh, it's keyless, you've got like a nice fob, same as the Range Rovers and the Land Rovers are the same era. Uh, being a manual, it's fit on the clutch. Press and hold the button, fires up straight away. See that media unit and everything there. It's whinging that the bonnet's open, which is fair enough, but other than that, there's no warning lights on there. Nothing nasty coming out the back. You can see you've got all your LEDs and everything. And nice and smooth at the front. So there you have it. Jaguar XE, really good looking car, white with the black gloss wheels and the 20 inch wheels. If you've got any questions at all, please get in touch. Thank you.